Hello everyone and welcome to another devlog video for Homegrown, the casual farming game I'm making using my own engine. I'm well into the gameplay updates now. Last time I was working on the farmer's market and I've done a bit more work on the market since the last video so I'll tell you about that later. But today I'm going to be starting work on a new gameplay feature for the town which is going to be the restaurant task system. And this is going to be a fairly simple task system. Every week the restaurant's going to give you some orders for specific vegetables and if you can fulfill those orders within the week then you get some rewards. So I don't think this is going to take too long to implement. I already got started on the planning yesterday so today I'm ready to jump straight in to the programming and I should be able to power through a lot of the backend code this morning. Well, that went really quickly. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, and I'm already finished implementing all of the backend code for the new task system. I mean, it is a pretty simple system, but still, it's nice for something to take less time than I expected for once. So next up, I'm going to get started on the UI for the restaurant. Just stopping for lunch now. For the rest of the morning I was working on the UI. Uh, first I made a quick draft for how the UI is going to look and I have now started implementing it into the game. Haven't got very far yet. This is the building that's going to be the restaurant. I'm going to make a better model for it so it looks a bit more restauranty. Um, but so far you can click on it and that brings up the empty UI. I'm currently working on programming that. Also last time everyone seemed to like what I did with the the market UI with the uh, having the 3D kind of graphic of the market stall around it. So I'm going to try and do something similar with the restaurant as well. I've just been in Blender creating a potential frame for that. So I've just been working my way through the restaurant UI this afternoon and it's coming along nicely. I think it's all fairly self-explanatory how it works. It just takes ages as UI work always does. I've said before I don't have any sort of visual editing tool for the UI so I have to program it all out line by line and the thing that takes the longest is doing all the settings because every time I want to see a change I have to restart the game so if I tweak a setting I have to restart the game see how it looks tweak the setting again restart tweak restart it just takes ages to get things in the right position one day I'd love to program some sort of editing tool for the UI that would make such a difference but I don't know, is it worth it? Maybe. Maybe one day, but not today. I'm finished for today. I've just been working on this rewards panel down the bottom here. So if you complete all of the orders during the week, then you're allowed to claim this bonus reward, which can be both cash and some items. So I can claim that now. So that's the main UI for this whole feature done now. I'm quite happy with it, but if you've got any feedback, then do let me know. As you know, I always struggle a bit with UI, so any help is always very much appreciated. I just quickly made this little graphic for a closed sign because at the start of the game the restaurant's closed, it only opens on week two. And I did this by making the sign in Blender first. It's really the only way I know how to make 2D art is by making 3D art first and then taking a picture of it. But luckily I think it actually works quite well in the style of this game. Just wanted to quickly show you how everything's going on the balcony. I was just out here harvesting some tomatoes for lunch. Um, I don't think I've shown you for ages, but it's all been going really well. Lots to harvest, lots of courgettes, although the plants themselves don't look that healthy. I'm not really sure why, but they're still producing courgettes, so that's fine. Um, the lettuces and the spring onions I actually planted again because I harvested all of the first lot, so this is the second crop. They're also ready to harvest now. Um, same with the peas, I harvested the first lot, and this is the new set coming up. And then I've got tomato plants all over the place, which have been producing lots and lots of tomatoes. This is the big tomato plant and lots more tomatoes to come soon. Mm -hmm. 
Just been in Blender making this little guy here, the local chef. He stands outside the restaurant with his donation bucket and accepts donations. The idea of this is uh, essentially this allows you to upgrade the restaurant and the tasks because this game's all about growth, it's all about scaling. You're constantly upgrading your farm, making it more and more profitable, making it more and more productive so it becomes easier and easier to produce vegetables and make money. And so these tasks need to scale as well, otherwise they'll just become way too easy and the rewards will become way too insignificant, so you won't even care. Um, so yeah, that's what this system's about. When you're ready, when you think you can handle it, and when you think it's worth it, you can pay money to upgrade the restaurant and get bigger orders and therefore bigger rewards so you can make more money from it. Um, at the moment it doesn't actually change anything other than the tier of the restaurant which you can see shown at the top here but as I said it will give you better tasks once I've worked on task generation and I'll also make some changes to the to the model of the restaurant so you can see it visually improving um, as you upgrade it. Speaking of scaling, let me now tell you about the changes I made to the farmer's market since the last devlog video, because I worked a bit on the system that allows you to upgrade your market stall. So I added this shop here. This shop's available all through the week, not just on market day, so you don't have to save up your money till market day. And this sells various upgrade items for your market stall. Currently there are only two items available, but I plan on adding quite a few more. So you can buy these product boxes and you can buy these stool upgrade kits. The product boxes you put on your stool and that gives you more item slots where you can sell your items, so you can sell more items at once. And then the stool upgrade kits are going to upgrade your entire stool and make it bigger and look more impressive. Um, I haven't actually made the models for that yet, so for now it just changes the color of your stool, but this has the effect of increasing the demand for your products. So you can see it increases how fast your products sell. So as production on your farm ramps up and you're producing more and more vegetables, you're also now able to upgrade your market stall so that you can sell more of those vegetables on market day. So nine o'clock in the morning, just about to get started with another day of programming. Not too much left to do on this feature now. I think the main thing I still need to do is the task generation algorithm, because up until now I've just been using some hard-coded examples for the tasks, but obviously I need to be actually generating fresh new tasks at the start of every week, and they need to be an appropriate difficulty, depending on what tier of restaurant you currently have. So that is what I'm going to be working on today. So the task generation and reward generation algorithms are done now. So at the start of every week, the restaurant generates a new set of tasks and rewards, um, but I'll also just manually regenerate the tasks now so that you can see it working. So you can see every time I regenerate the tasks, it comes up with a new set of hopefully appropriate tasks. I'll need to do more work on this and definitely more balancing once I've added more content into the game, once I've added all of the vegetables, but this works fine for now, and if I upgrade the restaurant, upgrade the tier of the restaurant, then you can see they're a bit more difficult, it involves some slightly higher tier vegetables now, and the amounts are also bigger. And the same with the, the rewards, the rewards have increased as well. So that'll do fine for now, as I said, I'll work on this more in the future, but right now I'm going to do some modelling and make a better model for the restaurant. So I ended up making two models for the restaurant. I started off by making this one on the right here, which I was really happy with. I really like the model. Um, but when I tried it out in the game, 
I don't know, something just doesn't quite feel right. I feel like it gets a little bit lost in the scene. I think it might be the colours, they're quite similar to the ground and the wall behind it, so it just doesn't stand out enough. I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, but I tried a few things and I wasn't really happy with it, so I eventually went back to the original model that I had there and just tweaked it a bit to make it look a bit more restauranty. And that's what I've got in the game at the moment. Um, I also did a bit more work on the surrounding area of the restaurant just to try and make it look a bit nicer, added some plants here and I think it all looks quite cute now. Just been working in the code on a system that will allow me to change the model of the restaurant depending on what tier it is so that when you upgrade it, it changes the visuals as well. Um, I haven't actually made all of the model stages yet but I did make one quick example a bit of an extreme example so if I go ahead and upgrade the restaurant here you can see it gets a bit bigger it becomes a two-story building obviously the changes aren't going to be that extreme but the idea is that the more you upgrade the restaurant the bigger and more impressive and nicer it should look So I've been playtesting this quite a lot over the last couple of days and I really like it. I think it's a nice addition to the game. I mean, it's a very simple system, but it's it works well with the style of the game. I like that it gives you a bit more direction when you're choosing which things to grow. It provides another benefit of growing a variety of crops and not just the most profitable ones. And it's also just satisfying completing tasks and collecting rewards. The way that I've tried to balance the restaurant is so that you shouldn't feel forced to always complete these tasks every week. The restaurant's there as a kind of tool that you can use to convert your vegetables into money and it's up to the player to decide how best to use that, how much to use it, um, whether they want to always go out and try and complete all of the tasks or if they want to just complete the tasks when it's convenient to them, when they're growing those vegetables anyway. Both of those should be valid strategies. Um, when I was playtesting I found that it changes from week to week depending on what the tasks are, how I've got my farm set up and, and what I'm growing at the time. So yeah, I like it. It adds a nice bit of strategy to the game. You're deciding whether you're going to go for the tasks or not. It makes you think a bit more about which vegetables you're going to grow and just gives a bit more structure to the game. So I'm pretty happy with this system. So that is going to be it for this week. Next time I'll be moving on to the vegetable competition feature and then I'll be doing a bit more work on the villagers in the town area. Before I finish this week, I want to give a massive thank you to the top Patreon supporters from last month who were Kevin Shaw, Peter Ostosen, Ingo Moore, Henning K.O., Helson Taveras, Andrew Romans, Marais, Shadeless Fox, Coda the Tyler, Ross from Two Minute Tabletop, Nikat Asgazada, Zanil Ambakar, Atomic Code, Walden Yan, Chris Neesmith, Alan Lance, Wonuff, Dieter Reinert, Harry Chung, John Needham, Christoph Herpo, Hagen Vingard, Matthew Connaughton, Miggy Doz, Andrew Witt, Marek Mikolajczyk, Sean McCrory, Caffeine Coda, Timothy Gibbons, Alexander Chavez, and Neil Blakey Milner. So a massive thank you to you guys and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. For this week though, that is it, so thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.